Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword! Last time! We came to Faron Woods to look for Zelda, met a talking butt who then had us go on a quest to find all of his relatives, and we got pooped on by a bird. It sounds quite juvenile when I describe these series of events like that, but that is what we did, and for our troubles, we got a slingshot! This I am looking so forward to showing you. Also, we need to do this. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a good reaction. Anyway, yes, this time we're gonna be going around the world and seeing all that we can see now that we have a slingshot. And I've said before that this differs a lot from the Zelda that you might know, and it's such a shame that because the slingshot is so terrible in other Zelda games, no one gives it a chance in this one. It stuns your enemies. When regular enemies have the capability to guard, do you have any idea how helpful that is? Just look at that! Look at that! No having to aim my sword, no doing any of that. I've seen so many people say that the combat in Skyward Sword is frustrating because you need to aim your sword all the time and the enemies react and block you before you can get in an attack. Not so if you use the slingshot or you use your spin attacks as I've been showing you. I mean, the one-to-one -one sword combat is cool, but now that we have access to another item, we don't need to rely on our sword for everything, and there's some enemies that are more weak to the slingshot than anything else. Just like any other item, your sword can be bad at fighting something. I think that because the title of the game is the way that it is, a lot of people just use their sword for everything, and they wind up having a frustrating time because of it. But don't do that. Use your other items. Use your slingshot. The slingshot might even be my favorite item that we're going to be getting for a long time. I use it a lot in my combat, and... Heck, I would even say, like, you know, Skyward Sword, more like Skyward Slingshot, am I right? Just look at that. I shot him in the knee, stunned him, and yeah, two hits, knocked him to the ground after the third, and that's it. Yeah, really simple. Bokoblins, bo bleh, 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 bleh. I always alternate on how I say their names between Bokoblins and Bokoblins, though, but I think it is actually Bokoblins. Get another Amber Relic back there. And now, at the very top of this structure, we have a bird statue! Master, I highly suggest you save the progress of your quest before you set out for the temple deep within the woods in pursuit of Zelda. We're gonna be using this bird statue to go up into the sky once again. I do want to let you know right now that we will indeed be making more progress into Faron Woods here today. I just saw this bird statue as a good opportunity to take a slight detour and show what our slingshot is capable of getting us. Because our slingshot is good for a heck of a lot more than just shooting bokoblins in the knee and somehow giving them a headache from that. Yeah. We're gonna be heading off to Skyloft. Why is that? Because Beetle's Air Shop is now available! <laughs> yes! Alright, well, hopefully Beetle is a lover of puns because that's how I'm introducing his character, like it or not, and it's too late to change it now. Get below this rope, and it's very iffy on whether or not it'll detect that you're close enough to it. I honestly wish it were a little bit more forgiving because so often I keep mashing the A button hoping to get on it and then I mash one time too many and I fall right off though, but that didn't happen here. Now, we're in the Cool Kids Club. We can join cool kids with terrifying dental work and shop in these awesome flying shops. Oh, you've come all this way? It's so rare to have a customer here! Beetle's Air Shop has everything you could ever want! Please take a look around! And if you actually buy something, that would be even better! <laughs> so, he is doing his cardio on an exercise bike to keep his shop floating! Man, these days people are desperate for marketing gimmicks. <laughs> Wanna know why I'm on a bicycle? Uh, yeah, why? Aren't you a curious one? I pedal this bike to generate enough electricity to keep this place in the air! Plus, all this pedaling has gotten me into fantastic shape! Yep, I'd say my lifestyle is pretty eco-friendly, but, uh, with you on board, there's plenty of extra weight, so I have to pedal as hard as I can. Oh, sorry. I don't mean to be rude. Please have a look around. I've got all kinds of great stuff. Well, among these items is one that we have heard a lot about. A bug net. This is the only place that we can obtain this, and it is a main item just like the slingshot is. It is only 50 rupees, and yeah, from catching bugs, we'll sure make a net profit. Oh! 
You and I are gonna get along just great, and I'm so glad I introduced you with a pun because I didn't remember that you said that. Oh man, I just have an intuition for remembering those things, like thank subconsciously. You. Oh, oh, thank you ever so much. You've given me the strength to keep pedaling. We got some other items here that we can check out. Right here is an additional inventory oh. slot for the adventure pouch. It's very useful, but it's also very expensive. We are not going to be able to get that for some time. In fact, I think 300 rupees is the most amount of money that we can carry by default. Let me check that just to be sure. Um, check that. Yeah, 300 rupees. Not any problem like that. Um, let's see. This right here, this is a life medal. It gives you an extra heart container while you have it in your adventures pouch. So it takes up an inventory slot. But, yeah, it does have a very nice benefit. It's 800 rupees, though. So, no way in the surface, I guess that'd be the equivalent of hell to these people, am I going to be able to buy that? There's also an extra wallet, lets you carry an additional 300 rupees, and I don't think we're able to afford this either. Oh! 100 rupees. Um, you know what? We're going to be obtaining a lot of rupees in the temple coming up. I, I think I will go for this. I think it's better to kind of make the wallet a bit lighter and just have more space to pick up treasure when I inevitably get it. So, now we can carry a total of 600. That'll just tell you plus over 300. It is a little bit hard for me to remember that. A lot of the time I'm like, wait, my wallet has like plus 300 on it. How much can I actually carry again? Yeah, it is a little bit tough to remember at times, at least for me. But, that is not all Beetle is good for. He's also good for a bit of a laugh. Oh, uh, he's also good for restocking his items, yeah. There is yet another wallet upgrade immediately available to you. Somehow I doubt it costs exactly 39 rupees. Yeah, it's now 300, so. It does get exponentially more expensive to be able to upgrade your wallet. Yeah, no. Oh, wait, he, wait, what was, what did he say there? What did he say there? What did you say there? I saw something about only 100 rupees. Oh, um. It only costs 100 rupees. I read 300 there and thought that was the price of it. Uh, when not reading costs you your enjoyment of a game. <laughs> okay, um, this over here. Completely new item. It's a bug metal. Makes it so that you'll be able to uh, see on your map where bugs can be found. You can see their spawn points. It is kind of nice, but at a thousand rupees, I'm sorry. We don't have the full on stretch lifestyle. We can't afford that kind of luxury. So, we're not able to actually buy anything. What happens if we leave? Oh, oh please wait a moment. Hi. Do you know how heavy you are? I have to pedal extra hard with you up here. Then you have to go to leave without buying anything. Off with you. Oh. That grin on his face as he watches you fall. <laughs> well, if nothing else, this makes the beetle lineage look a little better. I mean, if this is what their great, 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 great grandfather was doing all these years ago, then they actually loosened up quite a lot over the years, which is something I didn't think I would ever be saying. Anyway, this is why I recommended that you came up here as soon as you had the slingshot, because that's one of the eight main equipable items. Having that with you is a huge help and can do a lot for you. What exactly? Well... There's a lot of different materials that are now available to us. See, it's an extension of the slingshot. Everything that the net is good for, technically the slingshot was good for too. Oh, I hit the one button by accident there. We can get blessed butterflies. These are very common bugs. You can find them just about anywhere. Can be found on Skyloft. I think they can also be found on the surface. They're just a general, very common bug. Are useful for a few things, but you're gonna be catching a lot of these, so they're not too terribly special. Let's get into more exciting pastures. On trees, you can find Skyloft Stag Beetles, or just Sky Stag Beetles, actually. I was just putting words in your very wide mouth right there. We saw this bug earlier. In the Waterfall Cave! I was about to tell you how to get a bug in here, but I found my first Monster Claw! That's rather helpful, wow! Okay, well, good segue into this. In the spring, as well as just near bodies of water at nighttime, you can find a starry firefly. These insects are among the rarest in the skies and can only be found in dark places. Oh, and also while we're here, I'm sure many of you shouted at me about this. 
You can climb up this ivy and find a red rupee! Oh, and up. Uh, oh my god, don't go away, don't go away, don't go away, don't go away. Please, please, please. Okay, please be okay. This is actually the bug I was looking for, yes. Inside of pots and the like, and just outside in general, you can find Skyloft Mantises, or Fentai? I don't know what the plural is though, but point is, you can find them. That is every material that's available to us in Skyloft, at least at the time being. So, what I think I want to do now is head over to the junk shop, or, uh, I am so sorry, that was an insult to the scrap shop, uh, please don't hate me, and I want to see if I can upgrade any of the gear that we have on us right now. If I could, that'd be nice. Uh, wooden shield. I can, okay, that's nice. Uh, let's see the slingshot. No dusk relic, we're not gonna be able to obtain those for quite a while, so that's not gonna be all that helpful. And, oh no, we especially can't upgrade this for a while, okay. So, I think it's no contest, we wanna upgrade our wooden shield, and it was kind of a little bit dinged up as it was already, so, good use of 30 rupees, let's do it. All done, here you go. I would really hate to run in that guy in the dark hallway at nighttime, just saying. We get the banded shield, much more durable than the standard wooden shield, which is good considering that the wooden shield is the worst of all of the shields, so it'd be kind of good for it to be a little bit more durable, I'm just saying. Cool, so there's that. And also, should we head over to Rupin Shop? Aha! You're in luck because I'm carrying a new item. Today's new addition is an expertly woven small seat satchel. Truly, any serious slingshot enthusiast would be embarrassed not to own this, don't you agree? Take a look, friend. Well, I don't know if you all know this about me, but I like using my slingshot a lot. It's a fantastic item, and we have no use for the last spot in our adventures pouch. Well, um, I needed to show what happened when you don't have enough money to buy anything from this guy, so let's do it. Oh my. Uh, my dear friend, you, him, don't have enough rupees to pay for this item. You mustn't tease me like that. Okay, well, I was thinking it would be kind of nice to make use of that last spot. Maybe it would have been better if I didn't upgrade my wallet. Well, too late now. Some people might be wondering why I didn't wait a little bit longer to come up here because there is one bug that we have not yet obtained that is necessary to upgrade our revitalizing potions. We don't have the ability to access Deku Hornets yet. Those are coming up in the very near future, so you might want to wait a little while before doing your run if you just want to do everything in one go. But personally, I don't think I need my revitalizing potion to recover more than four hearts. That's already almost a full heal at this point, and with a lot of enemies hitting for a whole heart of damage, I just don't really think I need it, so that's why I chose to do things the way I did. Anyway though, how's about we head back to the surface, back to Faron Woods, and we see what else our new items can do for us down there. Back down at the surface, I'm gonna go behind the temple. Pretty much everything that I want to show is concentrated in this really small area, and it's very convenient too, so should you ever be in need of materials, you might want to come here. First off, these rocks right here, hopefully these rocks, uh, no. Uh, door number two? Door number three? I'm running out of doors here. Door number four. Well, uh, there's blessed butterflies that I can catch, as well as a woodland rhino beetle too, right? Uh, don't need to knock them off the wall anymore now that I have the net. Come on. Are there rocks up here? Please let there be rocks up here, because this is actually a very convenient spot for this. No. Thanks, game. There we go. Door number five was the correct answer when there's only four doors. Sounds like my usual luck when it comes to this sort of thing. Over there is... Uh, need to stop pressing one. I like how people have trouble with the motion controls and wish that things are on buttons. Yet when I'm playing right here, never have issues with the motion controls. Get the buttons or give me problems because I keep accidentally hitting them. This is a Feron Grasshopper. It said these bugs were reproduced in massive numbers once every 10 years, eating every plant in sight. Sounds more like a locust if you ask me, but yeah, that's another new material that we're able to get. Don't tell Stritch that I called his beloved bugs just lowly materials. 
And for the very last thing that I want to show off, let's head back to Faron Woods. Now that we're back here, any materials that we picked up before have now respawned, so if you know where things like amber relics were the first time, you automatically know where they are now too. Unfortunately, the enemies have also respawned, but can't win them all. Right up ahead, birds. You might not think it right away, they will fly away unless you're moving very slowly, but you can catch birds and kill them so that you can just take one feather off of them. You monster. But that is not an insect, it is a material. So your bug net has more purposes than just catching bugs. It can catch birds as well, and that is a pretty notable material. There is something else like it that we're able to get, but it does require a bit of luck to do. Anyway, unless I get lucky and stumble upon that last material, that is every single thing that I wanted to show before moving onward. So for now, I'll meet you guys back over by the entrance to the temple. Oh, uh, dopey me, uh, I didn't re-equip my shield, yeah. Luckily, your shield will regain all of its durability when you upgrade it, so that is kind of a nice way of getting out of doing that. If you can't upgrade your shield, repairing it is always better than buying a new one. It is much, much cheaper. Here we are, back at the bird statue overlooking this majestic tree that looks like it has a bit of an underbite with some googly eyes on it, actually. I didn't see it that way until now. And now I've ruined it for everyone. I'm not sorry. Uh, no, not the net, not the net. Okay, slingshot. Let's fire that off at that. Lower that vine down. Master Link, now would be an excellent time to arm, your, uh, arm you with additional information regarding the use of your items. You should be aware that you can instantly ready the slingshot and you use a moment ago by quickly tapping B. If you experience difficulty aiming when you're using this at any time, point the Wii Remote tour, uh, forward and press down to recenter your aim. Very simple tip, something we have heard many times in many other places, but it's fine, what do you expect? Let's swing around, and forward we go. Welcome to the deep woods. Not deep Faron woods, however. They do have to have a bit of an identity from everything else. As you can see, it's a pretty straight shot to where we gotta go, not nearly as much of exploring as before. I have confirmed the pl plant life of this area matches that of Faron woods. We have reached the area locally referred to as the deep woods. Now we should continue toward the temple in search of Zelda. Do the Bokoblins refer to it as- Oh! There's a guy right there! But the good material that I was hoping to get lucky with is right in front of my face. What do I do? Oh, uh oh. Um, no, he's he's noticed me. He's noticed me. Uh, thanks for scaring away the rare material, buddy. Really appreciate it. So you know what? You are all going to die very violently now. I don't care. You can't shout at me in any way to make me not mad at you, and bribing me with ammo for one of my favorite items won't help you either. Yes. Let's do this. Take you out. And that's that. Yeah, that was over pretty quickly. It's okay, though. I don't think it's scared off for good. I think it will come back soon enough. Can't see that Zelda is a little bit further in, though. That was what that was shouting at me for. So let's approach this bunch of birds carefully, because on rare occasions in flocks of birds, you can see a blue bird. Should you... Uh, stop. That red one ran towards my toes, so it would scare off the whole bunch. Thanks for that. Everyone... I think I've just come to learn that I hate red creatures today. <laughs> Hi, little friend. Sorry, buddy! Got a blue bird feather! These might seem like just a shameless recolor of another material, and well, they kind of are, but they are indeed extremely rare. They're not gonna be helpful for you in crafting anything for a very long time, but they're notable in that if Rupin is buying them at night market, he will pay you 100 rupees for just one of these things. It is extremely worth your time if you're in need of cash to go and catch these things. Heck, if you're not in need of cash, just if you see bluebirds around, catch them, definitely do. Speaking of things that we can catch, let's be a naughty boy. Do things that our mom told us not to do. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta, oh. Yeah, caught four Deku Hornets. 
If you ever see a Deku Hornet nest, they will all come after you immediately. Your sword won't do anything against them. You need to use your net. However, they all kind of come together in one place, allowing you to get that, and you also get Hornet Lava. At lo hornet Lava? Well, I mean, it sure feels like it when they're stinging you, but yes, Hornet Larva is another material. Not a bug, but a material. It's confusing. Bugs. Bugs are bugs, yet birds that are caught with the same item are not bugs, yet larvas are not bugs, they're material. Okay, whatever. You get it. It's a little bit complicated, though, but yeah, you can grab that. So, that is a... What? And he's hopping towards... Oh my gosh. Got it! Oh my god, I thought I messed it up and he flew away. Okay, no. I thought he was gonna fly away any second there, but no, I got it. Two blue bird feathers! Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll stop in on Rupin, see if he'd be willing to, um... Uh, so happens when you just stand around. I was waiting for him to attack me, and I didn't see it because he was on the other side of me. Uh, let's put away our sword. Oop, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Got you. I kind of like having my sword put away, or not my sword put away, my shield put away and not drawn. Because if it is drawn, it's very, very easy for just it to take damage when you don't mean it to. If you pull it out a little bit too late or something like that, you don't have to worry about that if it's not pulled out in the first place, but if your shield bash is late otherwise, you are gonna have problems. Speaking of problems, yeah, I think you know what we need to do. And they just flew down after their home. Uh, what's, what's down there? Let's uh, drop down. Well, I guess they're in hell where they belong. <laughs> I've never been stung by a bee or a hornet or anything like that. I've been stung by a dragonfly in the eye once, and that was very unpleasant, but thankful to say I've never been stung by a bee or anything. It would be really, it would be really bad. It'd be really horrible to learn that I'm allergic at like age 26 when getting stung for the first time. We're gonna go back up this way. If you notice, there was a log up on that ledge once again, and for whatever reason, logs just really love having their natural habitats on top of cliffs. Very inconvenient for the explorer of these lands, but you are able to do that. You are able to push that down, get a nice shortcut over here so you don't have to go across that tightrope ever again. Just wanted to grab that, and yeah, let me listen to my own advice and not be a hypocrite and shoot you in the face. Or shoot the ground next to you, that works too. There you go. Boom. Boom again. That's that. Get another ornamental skull. Just, I'm not, again, not complaining, but... Jeez, I'm lucky. Say that as soon as I break my shield for something that I said I wasn't going to do. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore this Octorok. I don't need to fight it. Instead, let's just climb up on this ledge. Hop over. There is another stamina fruit. Help me get across. Man, there's even like dark clouds of ominous smoke down there and everything like that. Wow. Get you. And... Ooh. I can stun you, but I can't kill you from here. That's the thing, a lot of people really do kind of take it for granted just like how good stunning something actually is because they're like, well, if it doesn't do damage, I don't care. Oh. Speaking of taking for granted how good stunning is. Yep. <laughs> you didn't think the simple children's toy was deadly. That was your greatest undoing, Bokoblin, sir. Oh, buddy, oh, pal, old friend. Not really. The balance on this. I'm surprised how easy of a time I'm having. Usually, no matter how straight I try to hold it or how much I try to wobble with my steps, I just always wind up. Oh, oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. Yeah, those things will actually hurt you and blow up on you because that's what vegetation is known for. Are there exploding plants? I know that there's like an exploding ant or something like that in real life, though, but I don't know about an exploding plant. I mean, I'm sure that like some plant is used in the formation of dynamite or something like that, but that's not what I mean. So let's uh, check in with that bird statue. Hop over here, death defying, hop off, and ooh, thought I didn't make it there. Brings us up to this ledge, and we got a bit of a, oh, new enemy. Uh, this is a Quadro Baba, new enemy to Skyward Sword. They are able to open their mouths either horizontally or vertically at random. So I highly recommend pulling out a spin attack very quickly while they are still the way they are so that you don't have to worry about being too precise. They also take two hits to defeat, but if you do a spin attack, uh, excuse me, if you do spin, well, okay, take my word for it. If you do a spin attack, that's not a problem. Um, okay, another log right over there, but you're not gonna let me reach it. No, there is a face I know. Hey, bud. Oh, I 
I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here, I stumbled upon one of those things, one of these things just now, and it looks just like something I've seen in the, those ancient texts. If I remember right, yep, this is one of the things the goddess was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? And I even thought uh, thought of a name for these things. I have been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Those ancient texts say some really interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Let me see. Uh, summon forth the light from the he heavenly blade, and may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. I see you got yourself a sword there. What do you say we try and crack the mystery of this cube together? Nah, don't need ya. Aw, oh, come on, I'm begging here. Help me out. Nope. Okay, I get the picture. I'll make sure this is worth your while. Oh, shoot! Be rude and you shall receive. <laughs> I didn't know he actually gave you that. I just got really lucky. Wow. You would have to be crazy to refuse me now, unless you are. You're not crazy, are you? This cube is made of some sort of metal I have never seen. I have wailed on it, but nothing happens. You know, bud, I would say the key to cracking this egg is that one line, you know, the, uh, the light from a heavenly blade. This is made of the same material as the altar in Skylock. We do a skyward strike on it, it activates. And it decides to make like a timeline and split. Whoa, did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. I think it reacted to that whirly beam thing that shot out of your sword. And where do you think that cube shot off to anyhow? This mystery just got a whole lot more uh, mysterious. The texts say there are cubes like that all over this land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. Those will go up skyward and they will change things up in the sky field. We're not gonna go up there and take care of that right now as we kinda have been doing a lot of running around in the sky field as it is here today. So we'll save that for another time. I also don't think there's any item that's really pressing that you go get and get it right this very moment because I don't think any of the items you can get from this will help you. Uh, oh, speaking of helpful items, I'll take that. And we have yet another one right here that we can't possibly miss. So let's do that. And now that we have activated that, we have reached the entrance to the temple. There's the bird statue right here. Oh. You're going to tell me exactly everything I just said, aren't you? Seems like everyone loves doing that for me whenever I'm gonna outro things. However, I have also detected the presence of numerous monsters. Are you sure you wanna proceed? Uh, no. Do not feel embarrassed. Fear is a natural self-preservation instinct common among living creatures. <laughs> what a great pep talk. If you feel unprepared to face the dangers ahead, consider returning to the sky to properly equip yourself. Been there, done that, don't need to do that. Telling us for the third time that we should go buy a shield, even though I guess you don't really have eyes so much as metal etched out to resemble eyes. Okay, I was saying. We got a bird statue before us. Should you ever need to go and do more final preparations, but I'm not gonna do that because I think I already got everything that's helpful to us in the road ahead. Should you need it, there is a, a, there it is, a tree stump right over here should you need to rest up. All that is good. But I think with all of our dungeon preparations taken care of, making it further in and Link falling asleep before I can actually end this, oh my God. Uh, next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're heading into the dungeon. See you guys then.